Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to introduce you to the concept of prompt catalog. So hope you have heard about predict catalog as well as data catalog. So in the same line we do have something called prompt catalog and its name suggests it is a catalog for AI prompts. And if you want to understand what actually this prompt catalog is, you can consider prompt catalog as a place or as a repository where you are going to save all your prompts which can be stored systematically and we can retrieve them efficiently and manage them very easily. So now when we are talking about the catalog, definitely there should be some source who is going to push the prompts to this catalog. So now the source could be anything. It could be the catalog which is coming along with the product or it could be the catalog which is managed by the community members or it could be the catalog which you have created for your own use or as a single user purpose. So whatever the source of the catalog, in this video we will be seeing two different types of catalog. One is the one which is managed by the community and another one which is available as a product catalog and that we can see in Azure OpenAI, for the Azure OpenAI. So let me quickly first point you to the community manage. So this is the GitHub URL for this. And here you can see that these are the prompts provided by the Power Platform and this is managed by the community members. So if you will go to prompts, here you can see these many categories. So there are the prompts for AI Builder, there are prompts for Copilot Studio, uh, for Power Apps, as well as if you can see Power Automate, there are a lot many here. And then we do have something for Power Pages. So let me quickly take you through this one. So AI Builder, here you can see the list is very huge. And if you will open any one of these, let's say you want to, let's take this one curriculum creator so as soon as you will click here you will see that this is the prompt it is saying so these are the prompts which are very well tested and i'm sure whoever has created this prompt may have received a very good response as an output from the llm so if you want and if you have similar need you can grab these prompts from here and use it in your application so let's take another one blog idea generator so like I said, this is the prompt. So write proposals on blog post about, give you a topic here. All proposals should be, should include the blog post title as well as a small summary. Format the proposals as bullet points starting with the title and on the next line, the summary. So this is how it is. And let's say for any of these posts or the prompt, if you're not seeing it here, what you can do is you can go to ENUS and click on this markdown file. So this is the prompt, which is displayed over here. Now, another thing which I was talking about is from this Azure AI Studio. So you must have seen model catalog. So similarly, now we have prompt catalog and these are the prompts which are available for us to use. So these are the ones which are very well crafted and I believe these are tested for very good response as well. So, and on the right hand side, you can see the various categories. So let's say you are just looking for the prompt related to summarization. So you can click on summarization and these are the ones they have for the summarization purpose. So let me close this. And if I will check this one, let's say image tagging or image description assistant. So this is the prompt they are having. So this is the image, which is definitely an input. And the system message would be, you are an AI assistant that helps people craft a clear and detailed sentence that describe the content depicted in an image. So this is the prompt you need to give. Now we have the prompt, we have a sample image, and now we want to know how we can use this in our application. So I have already written a few lines of code from my previous video and here what I'm doing is I'm just reading my configuration, creating my client object for the Azure OpenAI and this is the function I have written for encoding my image into base 64. And this is the image I have taken. Let me quickly show you. So this is the image I'm taking as an input. And then I'm simply, well, let me, okay. Then I'm simply copying this particular line from here. Let's grab, let's grab it from here. And I just pasted it over here. 
okay so this is how we used to give in the form of messages so under messages you need to define the system prompt and this is a prompt which we have grabbed it from the studio then you need to define the user content so user content would be the image url and the base 64 encoding which we generated using a bow function and then we are just calling the completion so let me quickly execute these cells So if you have already created an app, then definitely it's just a matter of replacing this particular prompt. And if I will go ahead and print this, so you can see that according to the prompt, which was you are an AI assistant that helps people craft a clear and detailed sentence that describe the content depict, depicted in an image. So this is what it has. The image dis, uh, displays an assortment of vibrant vegetable fruits and vegetables arranged in a visually appealing manner. So let's see if it's really appealing. Of course, and here you can see it is on some brown surface. So let's see if it discusses about that as well. So among the items are these, these, these many fruits and vegetables. And then creating a colorful and diverse representation of fresh fruit. So this is the best description anyone can have for this particular image. So what I'm trying to say you is if you have application or if your use case is matching with the, the prompts which are mentioned over here then make sure to give a try using this and of course you can tweak this prompt a bit based on your uh, format or based on the output response format you are expecting or the how much detail uh, response you're expecting all those things you can use it but Let's try with the base one and then keep gradually improving it. So I hope you enjoyed walk, walking through this prompt catalog and do let me know if you are already using any such prompt catalog. Thanks for watching.